And so the ability then for me to have, again, some technological interaction that can serve what might be a more mundane or routine purpose. You know, the child is asleep and there's a robotic babysitter, however we want to call the robotic, or, you know, a camera or whatever else that allows me to then go to work for a couple of hours. Um, I don't mind that at all. The child's mm -hmm. asleep. I'm not losing any interaction of any kind of developmentally or important element. Right. Um, you know, I put a baby in a crib, I put my child to bed, I'm okay with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but again, that's from the perspective of the assumption that I am always going to be able to be there for all of the, you know, emotionally trite but relevant moments. Like I get to choose mm -hmm. whether to go to a particular performance at school or to have dinner every night. Right. So that element of choice, I think, makes this perfect, something I'm perfectly comfortable with. I can engage when I want and I can choose to intervene and have that relationship with my child in the way that I want. And that allows me to pursue, again, a relatively privileged job and lifestyle. Right. That, I think, is the key factor into not being concerned about it at all, is that choice element. I think if you lose that sense of choice and uh, uh, direction, that that would be much, in my opinion, much harder to deal with as a parent. Um, that I have to uh, have this, you know, monitoring or teaching or whatever for my child done in a particular way to allow us to have a particular kind of economic success or safety net or whatever else. Right.